How can an organization benefit from experiential learning? Employers recognize that human capital is critical to organizational and productivity growth. This means joining with their partners in education, labor, and government for the purpose of training and developing their future employees, thereby ensuring a highly skilled workforce for the future. This partnership needs to include EL, volunteerism, and community service learning opportunities. Partnerships between business, community organizations, and post-secondary institutions help to generate new knowledge and technology, as well as address the specific and ever-changing employment needs of both students and employers. Even before the students come to our program, uh, we have an internship uh, coordinator that goes out and seeks industry partners that are interested in working with our students. Uh, that they will benefit from the project work that the students are involved in. We want to be very clear with those industry partners that we want them to benefit from this. It's not just something they're volunteering to do, that there would be an actual tangible outcome for them at the end of it. Uh, so that's the first thing that we do in advance of the course. We spend a considerable amount of time fostering and nurturing those relationships. We actually have a lot of nonprofit organizations as well. They all kind of want to have some sort of uh, social media presence. Uh, but they never have the time. They're small organizations, they're busy doing what they're doing already. So a lot of the projects we tend to get are basically kickstarting social media presences and then also training up the staff, if there is a staff. Sometimes these are almost one person operations. Um, but to train folks up in how to maintain those tips and tricks, strategies, because they cut across the board, right? If you're marketing for a nonprofit or a small music festival or uh, even a, a a uh, small digital kind of company, a uh, digital production company in the region. Uh, the, the strategies are all the same for getting the message out there. So that, that tends to be a large part of what, uh, or a large component of, of what the students do when they do the placements. When I first started my job about 14 years ago, employers were a little bit apprehensive around hiring international students. Um, we would hear things about language barriers and concerns around immigration and, and some of those cultural changes and differences in the workplace. Um, as Georgian has evolved and the community has evolved, so have our employers, which is awesome. So most employers are on board with hiring our international students because uh, they understand that's the labor pool they have to choose from uh, in Canada. Um, but some of them, yeah, just simply aren't sure about the immigration documents and processes.